Welcome back Tech Newbies. In the second video of our NAS series, we're going to download, install, and configure Android. So let's go. Tech Newbies. The first thing that we need to do is download the Android installer. So to do that, we'll go to Android's website, android.net. And click on download if you are using Mac click on download for Mac and if you are using Windows click on download for Windows so once the download is done you can now insert your USB flash drive click on the installer click yes click customize here you can change your server name and put on static IP. If you are using newer motherboards, click on allow UEFI boot. Click right, erase and write. This will take up a bit of time, so we'll be speeding this up. Okay, so now that the installer is finished, you can close this, eject your USB flash drive, and insert it to your NAS. I've switched on my Android NAS. Since I have a different OS running on this system, as this is a test rig, I'll be clicking on UEFI SanDisk partition as my boot device. This is the USB flash drive that we have created. And just wait for it to boot. By the way, the system I am using here is a test rig that I actually built from the parts that uh, were left off in my original NAS plan. This is the i3-9100 CPU. Okay, so now the boot is completed. Take note of this IP address and we will open this in our browser. Let's open that IP address on our browser. And here you will see the Android uh, console. So if you are already decided, you can click on Purchase Key. But if you want to try it first, click on Trial. Accept, then click tri Start Trial. So okay. So once we have started our trial, we are greeted with these array devices. So for parity, we have to select our largest hard disk, which is this 500 gig SSD. And for our data disk, you can select other disk. Okay, so once you have selected both the parity and your data disk, go to the lower part and click start. Click proceed. This will start your array. So once your array has started, you will now see this. If you scroll down, if you have 
plug uh, new hard drives, you will see a format button and a format checkbox. Just click on the checkbox and click on the format button to format your hard drives. You are now ready to create users. Click user. Click add user. Put a name for the user. Say done. Then give it a password. Retype the password. And click add. Click done. So you now have a username done. Now let us go and create shares. So for this, let us create a test share. Uh, I'll add share. Say test2. Click add share. Click done. Now that you have created your test share, test2, you can open Windows Explorer under network. Click on the name of your server in our case tower. Then click on test2. So to test our read and write privileges, we have to create a new file, say a new text document. Let us name this test. And let us put some text. Test. Save and close. So there you have it. That's it. You now have complete read and write privileges on this folder. You can now save your files in this folder and have access on it all over the network. By the way, you might have noticed that I have lots of shares already in this server because I did some tests prior to this video. That's it for this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you again next time when we configure Plex Media Server. Thank you for watching. Peace.